There is a global, society-wide realignment in progress at the moment around sustainability and decarbonization. From the public sector to the private sector, from capital markets to the daily operations of many businesses, sustainability and decarbonization is a secular megatrend that will disrupt many aspects of society and business. These are huge issues for our corporate partners. And so to support them, we are building a new strategy here at Fifth Wall that will seek to invest in emerging technology companies that enable and accelerate the decarbonization of the built world. As the world realigns politically and culturally around mitigating climate change, real estate is simply the most exposed industry on earth. The raw numbers are just astounding. The real estate industry consumes 40% of all energy globally, it emits 30% of total carbon dioxide, and uses 40% of all raw materials. If society wants to make a dent in these issues, the single most important industry to target is real estate. And then of course, there is the fact that climate change puts many assets themselves at risk. Taken together, we believe that managing and mitigating these risks will be one of the defining challenges for real estate leaders over the next decade. Let me give you just one example of this risk in practice. City governments are increasingly aligning with the Paris Accord. And where the federal government seems perpetually logjammed, city governments at times can move shockingly fast. So if you have assets located in a jurisdiction whose city council is sympathetic to these issues, you better have a strategy ready to address them. For example, this past April, both New York and Los Angeles cities passed legislation that requires commercial buildings to be net carbon zero by 2030 for new buildings and by 2050 for all buildings. These are not far away dates and there's intermediate requirements leading up to these dates. Furthermore, this legislation has real teeth in the way of hefty fines. Cities would have trouble imposing such requirements on any other business type as companies would threaten to pick up and move. Real estate doesn't have this option. The only way real estate owners and operators are gonna meet these challenges is to adopt new technology, new building materials and techniques, new approaches to operating assets, and new sources of carbon neutral power. So fundamentally, we see this as a set of problems that we need to innovate our way out of. And as venture investors, this is something we think we can help with. Our job is to find the very best entrepreneurs, technologies, and ideas, and then provide them the resources they need to create and grow their companies. So we are incredibly optimistic about the challenge and the opportunity here. Given the scale of the challenge and the rewards for succeeding, we believe that sustainability and decarbonization will be the dominant theme in PropTech over the next two to five years.